In this problem, I need to find the exact solution in a decimal approximation rounded to three decimal places for this equation here. Well, as you can see, it's an exponential equation since my variables are up in the exponents. Now, if I can make the bases the same, it will be an easy equation to solve. But on the left, I have base 3. On the right, I have base 5. So there's no way to make the bases the same. So I'm going to have to solve this equation by taking natural logarithms of both sides. Because if two quantities are equal, then their natural logarithms are equal. So the natural log of 3 raised to the 2x minus 1 has to equal the natural log of 5 raised to the x plus 2. I could also have solved this equation by taking the common log or log to the base 10 of both sides. I'd have still got the same answer. So now I've taken the log of both sides. If you notice, my variables are still up in the exponent. So what I'm going to have to do is use one of the properties of logs that says log to the base b of m raised to the x is equal to x times log to the base b of m. So what that says, if I'm taking log to the base b of a quantity raised to an exponent, I can bring that exponent down in front and multiply it by the log. So that's going to allow me to bring the 2x minus 1 in front of this and multiply, and the x plus 2 in front of this and multiply. So what I'm going to get is 2x minus 1 times the natural log of 3 equals x plus 2 times the natural log of 5. Now be careful, notice I had to put this quantity and this quantity in parentheses. So you get the wrong answer if you didn't have parentheses around these. So now what are you going to do? This is in fact a linear equation in x, since I have x to the degree 1 here and x to the degree 1 here. The natural log of 3 and the natural log of 5 are just numbers. So we treat them just like we would if they were numbers. So what we're going to do is distribute the natural log of 3 into this parentheses here. And I get 2x times the natural log of 3 minus 1 times the natural log of 3, so that's just minus the natural log of 3, equals, do exactly the same on the right-hand side, distribute the natural log of 5 into the parentheses, and so I'm going to get x times the natural log of 5 plus 2 times the natural log of 5. So I know this looks like a big mess, but it's not that bad. Notice I have an x term here and an x term here. I need to collect all my x's on one side, all my numbers on the other. And to stop it getting too confusing, I'm just going to do it one step at a time. So I'm going to move this by subtracting x times the natural log of 5 from both sides. These add to zero, and now can I combine these two terms? No, that unlike terms. They both have x's, but this has a natural log of 3, and this has a natural log of 5. So I cannot combine them. So I get 2x, the natural log of 3, minus x, the natural log of 5, minus the natural log of 3, equals, the only thing left on the right-hand side, is 2 times the natural log of 5. So now the next step, I need to move this. So I'm going to have to add the natural log of 3 to both sides. Add 
These will add to zero, so on my left-hand side, I get 2x, the natural log of 3, minus x, the natural log of 5, equals, I cannot combine these two terms, they're unlike terms, so I'm going to have 2 times the natural log of 5 plus the natural log of 3. Okay, still looks pretty nasty. What am I going to do next? I have an x term here and an x term here, so I have to factor out my x, because that's what I'm trying to find. And it's going to leave me with 2 to the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 5 equals my right-hand side, stays the same. And then, how am I going to get my x by itself? I'm going to have to divide both sides by this mess. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 times the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 5. This will reduce with that. So it's going to leave me with x equals 2 times the natural log of 5 plus the natural log of 3 over 2 times the natural log of 3 minus the natural log of 5. And this is the exact solution. So if you're asked for just the exact answer, that is my exact solution. I was running out of room on the previous slide, so I've written down the problem we're trying to solve and the exact solution we came up with. Now we need to figure out how to get an approximate solution. That means I'm going to have to put this mess in my calculator. You need to be very careful with parentheses. Since it's a fraction, you need to group the numerator in parentheses and group the denominator. And then if your calculator is one that when you hit the key natural log, it opens a parentheses, and most of them do, you have to remember you close it after the argument. So open, close, open, close, open, close. Now this is where you just need to get to know your calculator. If your calculator doesn't open a parenthesis when you hit natural log, you don't need any of those blue ones. So please be very careful with parentheses when you enter this in your calculator. And when I put that in my calculator, I get x was approximately equal to 7.34 five, three, three, one, kept going. And we were asked to round to three decimal places. So that's the position of the five. And looking at this number, it is less than a five, so it doesn't change this five. So my answer is X is approximately 7.345.